the, uh, the reds, once they're filled in barrel, uh, are, are uh, placed here, um, and they will go through a very slow malolactic fermentation. We don't, we don't inoculate for any of the processes in winemaking, and uh, our, mal our malolactic uh, fermentations are extremely long, as long as a year. And the, the real advantage to that, uh, there's many advantages, but one of the primary advantages is that it keeps a CO2 level in the wine that protects the wine, and the wine doesn't need to have sulfur, which allows the tannins to continue to resolve uh, gently. Um, the, uh, what we're looking at here is the 2010 vintage, and um, the 2010 vintage is, I'm sure, going to be described every possible way over the, the next few years. Um, in general, I think a lot of people, or, or, you know, usually uh, a great year is an easy year. Um, and 2010 is the first vintage where I think you could make great wine or terrible wine. And it was up to how you, the decisions that you made and, and handling and, and luck and, and um, tremendous amount of work. I, I, I am as excited about our 2010s as, as any vintage that we made, um, but it required more work, an order of magnitude more work than we've ever had to do in a vintage, um, including over the final two months, you know, uh, dropping a third of the crop uh, to, to make it happen. Um, but a very cool year, very French year, very challenging year, super great wines coming, I think. green wood uh, that, that, that you can find and what we what we like about that the additional air drying as well as the super tight grain is we want the micro oxygenation of a barrel but we really don't want the vanilla flavor so we like the tannin resolution but we we don't want the flavor to impact uh, our, our vineyard expression we, we want people to be tasting the, the pure vineyard um, uh, character in our wine, and uh, what we find is that with the, the new oak, that the, our vineyards have different personalities that, uh, in terms of the, the oak that they will accept. For example, our Al Alpine vineyard uh, will be 60% new oak, and it, it kind of laughs at that oak, it doesn't even show up. Um, meanwhile, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, our bear wall is, is terrified of oak. And, um, but we found even at 20%, it shows a little more oak than we would like. So this year, I think, I don't know what Jeff put it at, maybe 10%. We may even go to zero. Um, and uh, that, so we do alter that, but it's one single kind of barrel. And, um, that's, uh, that's the goal. So what, what, this is all barrel storage here, and we roll the new vintage into that side of the cave, and then once the wine's gone through malolactic, and once we've followed the, the prior year's wine, so this, back here we have all the 2009s, 
They've already gone through malolactic. We've made our barrel selections from the various vineyard designates. Um, and they're being stacked in here uh, because they're in close proximity to the bottling room. And uh, once they're bottled and once the tens are finished with malolactic, they'll be moved here. We want to move them as little as possible because it stirs them up. We want our wine to be naturally clear. We, we never filter the wine. Uh, we never find the wine. Um, the, uh, the, our, our bottling process is, is also very gentle uh, for Pinot Noir. We, we use gas to, to push the, the wine into a pressurized tank, which is also pressurized with gas. It's never pumped. And we have our own bottling line so that we can bottle the wine uh, on a specific day with as gentle process as possible. That's all I can think of. <laughs> uh, any, any, any questions? When are you bottling in 2009? When? Uh, the 2009s will be bottled between January and February. Uh, the Chardonnay will be bottled first. How long did it take to excavate this cave? Well, the cave, um, like, like many of the things we've done, uh, changed over time. Uh, there was an initial phase one, which was built to just be barrel storage with the idea that a winery would be out where the parking lot is. After messing around with the county for a year, um, realized that uh, that was going to be very expensive and, and we weren't going to end up with the, the ability to be integrated as, as much as we wanted. And also realized that to build the cave was not more expensive. Um, to just do the whole the whole process here, uh, we changed the design. Went through another year with the county, uh, so it was a five-year process from start to finish, uh, wow. and uh, until we get finally moved in. And the ex actual earth moving and excavation, how long did that take? There's two to three years of digging. Wow. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, this is all this is all pure rock. Uh, if you see our geology map, uh, you can get an idea what was uh, what what was being dug through. Um, it's a combination of sandstone, shale, and limestone. Um, but uh, uh, it takes a while.